Only Mondays I like is the summer Monday. Right? <laughs> So if you already haven't noticed, I'm over at Button Willow Raceway. It's a racetrack that's very well known for a lot of drivers to practice at. They've had a few races here and it's very hot. Uh, it's like 100 right now. It's why I'm wearing a white t-shirt and like some sunscreen because I'm not wearing sunscreen. This is uh, just something I was invited to um, from my good friend Steven. I sold him a Lamborghini race car roughly maybe a year and a half ago and he upgraded to a Huracan Super Trofeo and now he's out here practicing. So you can see him right there. Over this radio I can actually hear everything that's happening as far as like the lap times and the adjustments they're trying to make on the car and with the driver. It's really crazy to hear how technical it can get. There's a section out here where it's super bumpy and you can see the car kind of bounce. Yeah, go. How was that, Steven? Awesome. Pretty confident with it? Yeah. You're shooting flames like crazy out there. Yeah. Car's running hot, man. Yeah. Things really hauling. Banner's on, then you guys are backing up. So How's it feel compared to your uh, Gallardo? Totally different. Completely different car, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Gallardo <laughs> yeah, Gar was heavier all wheel drive. It's not as, you know, like race car. This probably feels a lot more responsive, huh? Yeah. When you first started driving the car, how long did it take for you to get used to it? Because I'm sure there were some variables took, you had to get over yeah, and kind of get used to. It took me a couple practice sessions. Each practice was about eight hours a day. Wow. It took me a couple of those, but I'm used to the car. It's nothing. Probably just a few minor adjustments. Yeah. Well, good job out there, man. Thank you. Yeah. So to my OG subscribers, the people who watch all my videos from the last few years, this car looks a little bit different, but you may recognize this one. This is the Gallardo that I sold to Steven just last year and he's done a whole new livery on it that matches his Huracan and this car is still really quick but the Huracan is just a little bit of an upgrade. Two. Oh, we got the dig. <laughs> it's the apex. We got the grass. You have to be 
maintain it, Steven. You have to. Yeah. Oh, I'll just yeah, keep you it. Have oh to my mean. god. So from so, a super young age, you guys knew each other. Just right? through cars. Yeah. Uh, Pre K was when we first met up. Mm -hmm. Actually, I actually like never knew this guy. Pre K. Oh yeah. <laughs> like that's when we first saw each other, and then we started talking in like first grade. Well, like, just as like kids hanging out. Yeah. And basically. then how did the whole car thing come into play? This was fifth, sixth grade. We yeah. were at uh, middle school. Yeah. No, it was fourth grade. Four, fourth grade. Fourth grade. Fourth grade. Every time school ended, I hear a loud car outside. Mm -hmm. I go outside, and his dad picks him up in the Ford GT. Oh. <laughs> Everybody looks. So yeah. You're like. All right, this guy has yeah. some cool cars. You guys had that same passion. Yeah, gotcha. and we just started talking. And I'm assuming video games had some kind of play in there too, a little bit, yeah. a little yeah. bit of Forza. Yeah, yeah. Now, it, now yeah. it has. And how did you come into play? I came into play. <laughs> I met Steven through my friend Pierre. Uh huh. I met Steven about two and a half, I'd say three years ago, and we've been friends. We play Xbox like all the time, Forza and stuff like that. Yeah. This is your first time seeing him drive? Yep. Yeah. Really? First ever. Time. No way. So it's, yeah. kind of, it's kind of a cool experience. That's awesome, man. Yeah. All, all you guys kind of bond together as friends yeah. through the car. Industry, yeah, gotcha. Badass, cool Porsches. <laughs> My favorite thing about this is that you guys all have the same passion for cars, and yeah. that's what brought you guys together. Yeah. And now look where you're at. Yeah. You know. <laughs> Get up on two wheels. <laughs> oh, got it. <laughs> yeah. Are these these are gonna be in front of you, or how does it get placed uh, exactly? Behind. Uh, okay. They have their own class. You have a horn? Yeah, Horn's broken. Alright, ready? Yeah, go. Three, I'll, I'll catch up. Yeah, you're gonna need. You're just faster, man. Uh, go! <laughs> oh, <laughs> hey! Hey! Yeah. Bye. Right. <laughs> Light him up, dude. It's not gonna work. <laughs> This is what we do at track days. This is what we do track days. We find hawks. <laughs> Very hidden. Very nice for a sight. Just chilling there. The horn works. <laughs> he fixed the horn. I like how it says twins turbo on the front. Twins turbo. Twins turbo. I mean, it's super wide body. But... Okay, I'm geared up. I'm gonna go for a ride in the Gallardo. I don't know if you guys can even hear me, but let's go. Wait, is, is my radio plugged in? Oh, I got a plug. Oh, yeah. Little flat saddle. Little flat saddle. Little
have to move my car. I told you you have no tires, my friend. That was a deal. Oh, you guys are going to clean the car. <laughs> That was crazy, bro. <laughs> like, you go ahead and start Mazda, boom, you're done. You're tired. Did you see how dirty my camera is? All the dust on it? Oh the car had no front tires because I had like 100 plus miles on the tires, which is terrible on uh, probably slicks. Getting back to power, the because of the, how smart the all-wheel drive system is in this car, it's a 90-10 split. So rears decide to go, oh hey, let's go this way, and the fronts go, no, let's go this way, and then the car just doesn't know what to do, and the driver's in no control. I mean, I tried counter steering it, but it didn't. Well, you try to correct it, and we just still spun out. Yeah, it would have still spun well, out. Well, anyway. it could have been much worse, so. So I just got through the hotel, and this place is really nice. It's called, I don't think, the bottle of water says it um so basically the whole idea behind why i'm here is to film a video for steven he is i think 14 or 15 years old and his dad supports him on his racing career of pretty much racing lamborghini super trofeo um i sold him that gallardo and i figured i'd hit up armic the father and say hey you know i'll come film some videos for you guys if you want to and he was all for it so i'm out here in Bakersfield, Button Willow, and it is hot. It's like 111 right now. I got a really nice hotel room. I'm gonna take a shower, do some work, and get some dinner. Because it's been a really, really long day.